Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to enable the send and archive button. Why is that button actually useful? So let's say I've received an email here. I have re replied to it, so that is already done. Now I want to archive it. So I still need to go ahead and click on that archive button here, or I have to still go and select that checkbox and click on archive. So there's still a bit of manual work that needs to be done after responding to this email. The send and reply, the send and archive button, sorry, will actually be doing this automatically for you. First, let's start by activating that button. To do so, let's go on the wheel and then go on settings. And then once you're here, you have to be looking out for the send and archive option. Make sure that you select the show send and archive button in the reply and then click on save changes. I'm going to show you how it works. Let's say I still need to resp respond sorry, to this email. I go ahead and I click on reply. And now look at this. This button here, this blue button has appeared. And it says send and archive. So basically, I'm just going to say, hi, thanks for your reply, Res response, OK, um, kind regards. OK, so instead of just clicking send, because my email would then stay in my inbox, I actually want to send and archive it. So remove it from the inbox because I do not need it anymore. I have responded to it. I have dealt with it. And that is it. So when I click on send and archive, as you will see under everything else, there's nothing else in there. So my email has actually been archived and I can find it back when I go under uh, more and I click on all mail. I will retrieve my email in here if um, I should need it in the future. Okay, so the send and archive button could save you a couple of very precious seconds on a very busy day. Um, if you want to actually disable it, you don't actually like it, make sure you come here on the wheel settings and that you hide that send and archive button and then you hit the save changes button all the way at the bottom. I hope this video was helpful and um, if you have any questions, let us know. Bye.